This is the final video, the last chapter about a three-stripe mud turtle hatchling that was rescued last September by someone um, who mistook it for a box turtle along with its sibling and cared for it appropriately. Unfortunately, um, mud turtles are um, fairly aquatic and should be in water. The sibling died, but uh, the rescuer brought this turtle to, the, uh, to her vet and uh, the vet talked her into giving it up. He called me and I took uh, possession of the turtle um, at a time when it weighed barely three grams, about the weight it was when it was born. Uh, it now weighs 17 grams and is one and three quarter inches long. Its shell has grown dramatically and now fits its little body and, and she looks terrific. Here's a picture of her now as she looks when she was released, which was yesterday. Um, uh, we released her in the creek and I'm going to miss her. She's a real sweetheart. It's always hard to rehabilitate a turtle and release them back into the wild, but um, it's all for the better, I hope. Okay, here we are at Sweetwater Creek. We're about to release our little uh, mud turtle hatchling that was rescued by someone else and uh, turned over to us to care for, which we've been doing for a couple months. And here's the spot we're going to release her, right here by these uh, logs. Water is fairly shallow. Reasonable amount of vegetation. Okay, we're going to be letting you go. This is it. Bye. We're going to let you go now. You all ready? You're all full. I know you. Uh, your little tummy is full. I'm going to step over here in the mud and try not to fall over. Hold on, you're almost there. Here we go. Here we go now. I'm going to put you down here. Let me get a little bit closer. Mudding the heck out of the water. Okay, are we ready right here? You ready? Here we go. Oh, gosh. Oh. Well, she's gone. Okay, that's where we let her go. And she went into that moss here between this board and this big old log. I'm going to zoom in here. And I'm zoomed in and I'm looking. But I can't see her. She probably went right into that thick, dense moss where she will hide probably for some time, for many minutes, before she'll come up for air and then she'll start to explore. So she's a free turtle now. And that's the end of the saga of this little three-stripe mud turtle rescued last September by a woman, given to me through my vet, and now a free turtle. Let's hope that she does well.